Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is gonna be good, guys. Stick with me. We're gonna show you how to make venison meatloaf. Many of you guys know that we have started the Mountain Ops 90 Day Challenge, which includes, you know, workout, supplements, and clean eating. Those of you who hunt, I'm sure you have the same thing as me, a freezer full of ground burger. So I have a ton of ground elk and a ton of ground mule deer from animals I recently shot. And I've been trying to think of a way to consume and use as much of the burger as I can because hunting season is right around the corner and I'm sure we're going to be filling a few tags this year. So I want to eat as much of this ground ground venison as I can. With all this burger, I wanted to make meatloaf. I've been craving this stuff like crazy this last week. And honestly, this is my first time making it. So for those of you who have never done it before, we're going to do it together. For those of you who have done it before, uh, critique me. Let me know what recipes you like. Let me know what you would have done differently because I want to start cooking meatloaf often to use it for my meals. So if you guys want to do it like I do, here's some of the ingredients you're going to need. I have parsley, which I'll dice up, ground garlic, eggs, oatmeal, which is important to note because most people use bread, bread crumbs, or crackers. Again, I'm trying to eat healthy, so I'm using oatmeal. It's just the one minute oat. Onion and a green and red bell pepper. Out of all the videos I've watched, most people really like to whip up a really special uh, topping, like the glaze, the barbecue sauce, ketchup, things like that. Now, this is gonna be my first time, guys, and because I am trying to do it healthy, I'm gonna get creative. So I do have some Walden Farms original barbecue sauce. This stuff really, I mean, look at it. It's like watered down barbecue sauce, but it's zero calorie. Same with mustard, uh, same with sriracha, I believe. Zero calories in sriracha, and I did get myself some organic unsweetened ketchup, and I will be using Worcestershire sauce just in the meat in general. In addition to the ingredients, you're gonna need yourself a pan. Now, if you have a bread pan, you can use that as well. Before I mix the vegetables, I'm gonna pan fry them in this Camp Chef iron skillet. You're gonna need yourself a bowl for mixing. I just barely broke mine, unfortunately, so that's all I've got. Before we even get anything started, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. I'm gonna use about half this green pepper and half a red pepper. Just go ahead and clean out the insides of those. We'll use two halves of the bell peppers and we'll also use half of this sweet onion. Section of this parsley, just cut off some of the top there and just dice up the parsley nice and fine. I wish I had a camera guy, but we're gonna throw all the veggies in the skillet and let those just slightly saute and cook on a medium heat there. Now that we got the veggies going, we're gonna go ahead and start whipping up the meat. So I have two packs of ground mule deer. This is off a buck I harvested in Idaho this year on my solo hunt. When I cook and do food prep, I like to cook a lot. <laughs> so, because it'll last me for, you know, a couple days, two or three days of meals. So I'm gonna use two packages here of meat. It's probably about, I'd say, almost two pounds of meat. We're gonna use two eggs. Again, this meat has no fat added, so to keep, uh, the eggs are going to act as a binder, help keep the meat together. And go two eggs, half a cup of one minute Quaker oats instead of bread. I have some garlic here, we're just going to do a splash of that. A splash of Worcestershire sauce. That helps, uh, that'll help give the meat some flavor, kind of like a steak. And I think I'm just gonna use about half of this parsley, throw it in there. And so that's your mixture for now. We just need to wait for the vegetables to lightly cook, and then we'll mix the veggies in all together. This smells so good already. I'm gonna let these cool down just a little bit. I've got the flame off. I'm gonna let them cool down and sear for just a second, and then I'm gonna add them to this mixture and then we're gonna whip it up. 
cool down for a little bit, but that skillet's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna just add the veggies right in there. There's everything with the vegetables included. And for some final touches, we're just gonna add some salt. Just a little bit of salt in there. And a little bit of black pepper. Now that everything's in there, we're just going to go ahead and use our clean hands to mix it up. Just going to keep mixing everything up until it's mixed up pretty good. This is going to be a thick meatloaf with some really thick chunks of bell peppers, green peppers and onions, and parsley. All right, it's really starting to work together and stick together now that it's mixed up pretty good. So I'm just gonna kind of pack it as tightly as I can. Make sure I get all the veggies in there. So that's our meatloaf right there. Now what we're gonna do is just add it to the pan. And like I said earlier, if you have a bread pan, you can use that as well. You don't necessarily need it. I have a little bit of olive oil kind of spread out on the bottom of the pan. And what we're gonna do is just take that meatloaf and shape it to a loaf. Look at that. That is so good already. And what I wanna do is kind of create a little reservoir on the top. The thickness of the meatloaf is going to be about, oh, I'd say three to four inches deep. But on the top, we want to make a little reservoir so we can put some of our uh, sauce in there. I don't necessarily want the sauce to overflow and, and get on the side, but we just want a little bit of a dip. That way the sauce can fit right in there. But how about that? That looks so good. All right, guys, take a good close look at that before I put the sauce on. Now I'm going to whip up the sauce, and like I said, I'm just kind of making it up as I go, but that already looks so tasty. Here's exactly what I'm going to do for the sauce. Again, I'm trying to keep it low calories, but if you guys want, if you're not on any kind of diet, I would recommend using your favorite barbecue sauce and your favorite ketchup. But I'm just going to take two, about two tablespoons of this barbecue sauce. Then I'm going to do about one tablespoon of this low calorie, low sugar ketchup here. One tablespoon of that. I'm going to do a splash of sriracha just to give it a little spice. So we'll do a splash of mustard in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up into a paste. Again, this, this normally would be a lot thicker, but the consistency of this barbecue sauce is literally like watered down barbecue sauce. So that's what it looks like right there. What we're going to do is just go ahead and throw some of this right on top of the meatloaf, right into the little reservoir we made. Not all of it though, because we're just going to cook it for 30 minutes with it, and then we're going to reglaze it with what's left over afterwards. So just kind of spread that all around. Again, don't necessarily want this to be overflowing and stick and burn to the pan. So the oven's already preheated to 350. We're gonna throw this in for 30 minutes and we'll take it back out and uh, reglaze it. I just set it in there for 30 minutes. It's gonna be a little bit of a waiting game, so we'll check back when it's done. 30 minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the meatloaf. Let's see how it looks. Ooh yeah, that looks good. We're gonna finish off the glaze. Give it one last cook. So let's see if we can get all that stuff out of there. We're gonna just spread the last little bit of sauce over it again, like so. Oh man, that's, it smells so good. We'll start that and we'll throw it back in. In 20 minutes, this thing will be ready to go. 
It is time to pull this thing out of there. Woohoo, that smells so good. Check it out. Looks good and it sure smells good. All right, before I cut it up and give it a try, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. I cooked myself some Brussels sprouts, so I'm just gonna have meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. And again, there are some carbs in here because of the oatmeal, but dang thing looks good. It's time to cut into this and see how it turned out. Woo. That's thick. Again, I'm trying to do this all with one hand. Let's take this. Add it to our plate of Brussels sprouts. Get one more cut. Wow, that looks amazing. Let's give it a try. There it is, venison meatloaf. This is my first time doing it. I'm gonna give it a try and give you an honest review. I'm gonna try a little bit with the sauce right off the top there. There you go, a little bit of a bite. Got some Brussels sprouts on there. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That is really, really good. Look how much peppers and onions I got in there. Guys, it's, it's really good. I think, if anything, it could maybe use a little more garlic salt and uh, salt in general. Um, the top mixture, let's get a really good piece of the top. That's actually really good. For being a zero calorie uh, barbecue sauce, there's a lot of barbecue flavor in there. But I'll tell you what, guys, this is something I'm going to do more often just to start using and consuming more of my wild game burger. Um, it's an easy meal. It's going to provide me for a few more meals today and tomorrow. It, I can add it over a, a bed of rice. I can put it with mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes or like I have here, just some vegetables. But pretty dang good. Uh, I hope you guys give it a try if you have a bunch of ground deer meat or elk meat. Give this a try. If you guys give it a try, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know what you guys did differently or if you liked it or not. But I'm going to get back to eating my meal, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out all our other cooking videos.